Hi everyone, it's me Roslyn and one of my viewers asked me to make a video on what to send to your fiancé or beneficiary after the petitioner receive the NOAA 2 letter or once your I-129F is already approved. But before that, let me say thank you so much to those who support me on my video, on my YouTube channel. Thank you for all your concerns to me and to my baby. I really appreciate that. And to those who haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And if you like my video and help you, please do thumbs up, like my video, and um, I will do my best to make a lot of video to help you out. Okay? So for now, let's discuss about k1 fiance visa or about what to send to your fiance or beneficiary after the petitioner received the nova 2 or once your i-129 f is already approved okay so first so once your i-129 is already approved the petitioner received the nova 2 that's the time you need to gather those documents that the beneficiary will be needing for the interview and these are all the documents first a copy of the entire i-129f package that you sent to the uscis but this is not a requirement okay if you have a duplicate copy of your i-129f like what we did before when Marcus sent our I-129F packet application to the USCIS, we have another copy of the entire I-129F because we wanted to make sure, let's say we submitted the other copy and something happens the USCIS misplaced it or they did not receive it we still have another copy to submit and then the next one um i want to have another copy of that application of that packet for me to review during my interview okay because most of the questions that the consul will ask to the beneficiary is about what documents you submit to the uscis it's all about that so i need an extra copy for that for me to review to read and to refresh my mind what are all the documents that my petitioner submit to uscis that's why we create another copy and if you have that copy the petitioner should send that to the beneficiary so that the beneficiary can review all the documents that the petitioner submitted to the USCIS for the I-129F application okay but just what I said it's not a requirement if you only have a copy okay and then the next one if the petitioner receive an rfe or request for additional evidence you need to send all of the documents that you submitted for the rfe okay um the beneficiary should review all of the documents that the petitioner submit if the USCIS asks for request for evidence. Same thing with I-129F. But that is only if the petitioner receive RFE. But if not, it is fine. You will not send anything aside from I-129F packet. Okay? And then the next one, send the excuse me send the NOAA 1 RFE if you have RFE NOAA 2 and NBC letter to your beneficiary or fiance 
okay marcus sent me all the documents which is original the NOAA 1 and NOAA 2 and NVC letter and the copy of the I-129F he sent that to me original copy but Sam says that you can send a copy like scan the documents and then email to your fiance or to your beneficiary and then the beneficiary will print that and that's the one that the beneficiary will review or give it to the consul if the consul asks for that uh, documents. Some says it's fine, okay? So if you want photocopy, if you want scan, you can do that, okay? Then the next one, um, the petitioner form I-134 Avidabit of support with signature and date near to the date of the beneficiary's interview okay because during our application i129f we did not submit form i134 i134 abidabit of support we did not include that and thank god because we did not receive an rfe regarding that so during the beneficiary's interview most of the consul asked for the form i want i-134 which is the vidapit of support from the petitioner okay um and same thing sam says photocopy or email and then the beneficiary will print that sam says it's fine it's okay and uh, if you want to save and you don't want to send um, original copies, some says it's fine. But the thing is, Form I-134 or, or Affidavit of Support from the petitioner, um, the petitioner should sign that form. And I think it should be original. Okay? Um and also you need to write down the date that is near to the beneficiary's interview date let's say the beneficiary's interview date is let's say mm, august 18 august 18 so when the petitioner will fill up the form i-134 of a debit of support uh, the petitioner should write, let's say, August 10, 11. So, that's the date. So, the date should be near to what the beneficiary's interview date. Okay? And then, the next one is tax return transcript for three years. Okay? The petitioner can request the tax return transcript to the IRS. And that is only a photocopy. Photocopy is fine because um, some of the consuls ask for the proof of if the petitioner can give you a good life in the U.S. If, if the petitioner can support you. That's the reason why. So you need a tax return transcript for three years. So let's say this year is 2017 and of course 2017 the petitioner don't have 2017 tax return transcript so all you need is 2014 2015 and 2016 tax return transcript okay and sam says <laughs> one year is enough but other says you need three years so actually it really depends from the consul because before during my interview i remember i heard two applicants and the consul asked them three years three years of tax return transcript or three years of w2 so the consul asked them three years but um other applicants says the console asked them only for recent year so it really depends but if you want to make sure 
just give them three years okay and i think there is no payment upon requesting the tax return transcript to the irs because when marcus requests that he did not pay anything so it's free okay okay and then after that um if the petitioner don't have tax return transcript he can send to the beneficiary the um form 1040 for three years okay but if the petitioner have transcript tax return transcript and he has also uh form 1040 he can send it to you the petitioner can send it to you okay both of that documents and then after that w2 for three years photocopy is fine the form 1040 is photocopy is fine the tax transcript photocopy is fine okay then after that the certificate of the certificate of employment photocopy is fine and then two months pay stub photocopy is fine and also bank statement that stated the date of the account was open total amount deposited and present balance photocopy is fine also and after that all of that the tax return transcript form 1040 w2 um, pay stub certificate of employment all of the documents uh, needed to for the console to know if the petitioner can support you when you go to the u.s okay but some of the console did not ask for that like me during my interview the console did not ask me for that but if the console will ask me i can hand it to them because i have it all you need is to be organized and to be prepared okay and then after that the petitioner should send a new letter of intent to marry with signature and date near the beneficiary interview date okay and i know that when you send your i-129f packet um you already send a letter of intent both of you petitioner and beneficiary but this time um it was needed for the beneficiaries interview so the petitioner should, should send a new letter of intent to marry with signature and date near the beneficiary interview date okay so same 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 some says photocopy or scanned and they will print it and they said it's fine okay but marco sent me all the documents especially those documents with signature and date he sent it to me original okay then after that um, proof of ongoing relationship includes photos travel documents emails online chat hotel receipt receipt when the petitioner visit the beneficiary okay if the beneficiary has a copy of all of that so the petitioner will not send that to the beneficiary because the beneficiary already have it all the all he need all the beneficiary needed is to compile that uh documents photos travel documents emails chats that one and also the petitioner should send a photocopy of passport bio page and the petitioner birth certificate but if the petitioner will send the entire i-129f packet um the passport by page and birth certificate is included included on that packet okay so that's all the documents needed i will repeat one by one these are the documents needed that the petitioner should send to the beneficiary for the beneficiary interview okay first a copy of the entire i-129 f package next the rfe letter and all the documents that send 
sent to the USCIS pertaining to that RFE. Then NOAA 1, RFE letter, NOAA 2, and NVC letter. Uh, form I-134, I-1, I-134, I-1, 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 then tax return transcript for three years, um, form 1040 for three years, W2 for three years, certificate of employment, two months pay stub, bank statement, uh, letter of intent with signature and date near the beneficiary interview date, then proof of ongoing relationship, photos, travel documents, email online chat hotel receipt and then passport bio page and birth certificate that's all the documents that the petitioner should send to the beneficiary to prepare for the beneficiary's interview so that the beneficiary can refresh her or his mind can review all of that okay and I have a separate video of all my documents that ah uh, that I that I brought during my interview. I will write down the link and just click that if you want to check that video and also all my uh, interview experience and also what possible questions that the consul can ask to the beneficiary i have all of that video so i will write down the link just click that link okay guys so i hope i help you and if you have any questions just feel free to comment on my youtube and i will do my best to answer that uh and don't message me on my facebook and also don't ask me for my email address i'm so sorry i cannot give you that because i don't want to happen again that my email will hack will be hacked so it's hard to breathe sorry because my baby is moving <laughs> so good luck everyone and have a nice day just trust yourself believe yourself believe in your has believe in your fiance and just be true to yourself during tour, during your interview and you can do it you will be passed i'm sure so good luck everyone have a nice day bye bye